What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from Access Tunes. In this video, I'm going to share about a little bit of tips and tricks that I found out about the uh, pattern editor. All right, and let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and add a track, a drum track right now with the pattern editor, the pattern event. Okay, so let's quickly program some drums. Okay, so with the pattern editor, right, you don't necessarily need to put the pattern clip here. You can make a beat like so, and when you hit play, it's going to actually play the pattern, right? Okay, let's just make a quick pattern here. Okay, so let's say this is the pattern. You notice that it's actually playing wherever I put the cursor, right? The good thing about this is that you can now actually grab this pattern now and drop it in the project window. Okay, now there's no not playing anymore, right? But if you delete this, it's going to play. So what you can do is you can actually click on this mute button. Now it's not going to play anymore. So let's say you don't want any pattern to happen. This is what you have to do, right? So, but if you want the pattern, you can just go ahead and just drag them to the pattern, to the project window. And now it automatically mute this pattern. Yeah. Okay, I've talked about how to create pattern, but I didn't actually talk about how to remove the pattern, right? So what you can do, let's say you want to remove all the kicks here. You can right click on this and go to remove all steps from this lane. Right, and it's gonna just remove it real quick. So I'm gonna do it with the one as well. Okay. Okay, and if you want to remove one of the lane here, okay, let's say you have this drum pattern here, right? You want this hi hat. Okay, let's say you have created a couple of patterns now, and you want to remove one of the lane. You don't want that lane actually. So what you can do is you can click on whatever the whatever the sample that you want to remove just right click on it and go and remove the lane right it's only going to remove the lane not the instrument so when you go to drum machine here you're still going to have this instrument okay so it's only going to remove the lane and if that's what that what you want okay so let's go back to the pattern editor okay here's the fun part you can actually set up your own lane controls so let's say you want to have an offset, you want to have swing, you want to have nudge, you know, you can have all of them in here. So you can swing, add the swing right here, you can add a little bit of nudge here. So you have a lot of controls that you can add on your own. So right click on it and you can actually remove them, offset, whatever. And if you want to have a clean, even more clean, you can just even remove the name or preview or mute and solo and all these buttons color indicators you can actually pretty much do all of it right here okay and if you want to change the color of this track I actually talked about this before go to setup and you can change the color any color that you want right uh, but I like to use the drum machine one which means if I'm using the drum machine it's gonna be giving me only one color and so that you know sometimes i don't want to see a lot of colors okay so i'm going to create another midi track right below that and you notice it's actually create a track with midi pattern right so now when i double click on here it's going to create a midi pattern but what if i create a new midi track and i use the midi part and i double click on here it's only going to open the uh the normal midi part instead of pattern editor right so that's where you have to click on the control and double click now it's going to create the pattern let's say you create this track with pattern editor now when you control and click on this it's going to open the um i mean it's going to create the uh the midi part instead of the pattern editor right so if you have a midi track that you created with midi part you just have to double click to create the midi part and control double click to create the pattern editor but if you create the MIDI track with the pattern editor, 
Just double click once to create the pattern editor and control click to create the MIDI part. Cool. Once you've created your pattern and you want to have more space here, you can also disable or hide the uh, lane inspector. Like I mentioned before, you can actually right click on it and go to setup controls and also remove some of these, right? To have more space if you want. So you're only going to see this, right? If you're okay with that, I'm not okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to set up lane controls and add all the stuff, especially the name. Even if I don't have the mute, it's fine. I want the name, the preview is not in needed as well. Number of step, important step resolution, yes. So you can go ahead and customize your pattern the way you want. Okay, I get a lot of questions about about whether we can save the pattern, right? So let's see if it's possible. I'm gonna press Ctrl and double click here, and I'm gonna create the MIDI uh, MIDI part here. So so now I have MIDI part and the pattern editor, right? So when I press Shift and right click on it, one of the things that you can notice is that I can export this as MIDI loop. Wait, let me drag this to the right, convert this to MIDI part. Right now I can shift right click and go to export MIDI loop. So I have the drum pattern. So let's just name these drums, right? Okay, let's go to my MIDI loops. So I managed to save this as MIDI loops. However, if I go to the pattern editor here, I press sh shift and right click, I don't get the export as MIDI loop, right? So that's one of the thing that I think it will be great if Cubase have that feature. All right, so that's answer your question. We can't save the pattern yet. I mean, I don't know if there is a way to save the pattern. If there is, then I'll let you guys know definitely for sure. Alright, so um, that's it for today guys. If you guys find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button and share this video to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.